Good day, I am Nukta Jamini and welcome to Jobek TV with your news updates. Alta says SAA need external help to survive. Herman Mashaba is accused of acting unlawfully over Jeski River structure. Succession fault leaves parts of Pretoria without power. The organization undoing tax abuse maintains that South African Airways cannot continue as a fully government-owned entity. This comes after the airline's board confirmed the resignation of CEO Vianney Jarana at the weekend. Jaranet cited various reasons for his departure, including uncertainty about funding and lack of support for the ailing carrier's turnaround strategy. His resignation comes just a few days after ESCOM CEO Pagamani Khadebe also ended his term at the Parastatal. The two CEOs have a combined debt bill of close to $500 billion. Arthur's Hendrik Volming said the SAA needed external help in order to regain financial stability. Johannesburg Mayor Herman Mashaba visited Limbro Park near the Yeski River yesterday to investigate why 80 homes were demolished on Friday. It is alleged that the court order used to carry out the evictions was obtained almost three years ago. The Alexandra Shutdown Movement Sandile Mavundla said Mashaba had acted unlawfully and told the community that the structures should not be demolished. The city of Johannesburg was also urged to provide relief for Alexandra residents, including trauma cancelling, after many were left without shelter. There's a widespread power outrage in Pretoria this morning, affecting the east as well as the Montana, Irene and Mamelodi. The city of Tony said that the Njala substation had tripped, leaving several areas in the dark. City spokesperson Linda Lamashiro said that the cause of the trip was not yet known. Now looking at your sports updates with Tata Hatim Charlie. Good day, welcome to Joburg TV Sports. I'm Tata Timjali with your sports news. Good news for South Africa. The Swiss Supreme Federal Court has suspended the International Association of Athletes Federation regulations affecting Casta Semenya's ability to run. The decision was made yesterday by the Federal Supreme Court of Switzerland following Semenya's appeal of the case, which ruled against her in May. Semenya has challenged a rule forcing her to lower her testosterone levels to compete with women, even as judges labeled the regulations as discriminatory. The decision means she will be able to compete in the 400 meters, 800 meters, and 1,500 meters race while the appeal is pending. In the soccer news, Mamelodi Sundowns' striker Kubert Malikila has confirmed he is set to exit the club at the end of June following a six-year period with the Brazilians. The 33-year-old has struggled to break into the starting lineup in recent seasons with the likes of Lebohang Maboy, Jeremy Brocky and Emiliano Tad often preferred in the number nine role in 2018 and 2019. The Zimbabwe ace says he has no regrets about his time in Pretoria as he has won everything on offer domestically with coach Pito Musimane's side. And lastly, South Africa's Wade van Gerk makes a return to the track after two years of missing out. Olympic and double world 400-meter champion van Gerk will finally re return to the track at IWF World Championships in London Stadium on July 20th and 21st, along with many other world stars. London is expected to be a comeback for van Gerk since he has been out on surgery in 2017. The 26-year-old set a one-lap record of 43.3 seconds to win the Romeo Olympics. That's all from the Sports Disc. Goodbye. Moving to traffic and weather updates. And now let's take a look at your traffic and weather updates. Bedford View expect delays on the R24 West approaching Alum Road. And in Santin, there is a stationary vehicle on the M1 northbound near Grayston Drive exit. And in Centurion, there is queuing traffic on Dam Road West towards Huda Hope Avenue. And now to your weather updates, Johannesburg is at a high of 22 degrees Celsius, Midrand is at 22 degrees Celsius, and Soweto is also at 22 degrees Celsius. Back to the news desk. That's it from me and the rest of the Jobic TV news team. Catch your next bulletin in the evening. Goodbye.